Hey everybody, and welcome to my In5 series on the Akai MPC, where I cover a topic in about five minutes. This is session 3.1, and I've got some requests in for showing off how to use the looper and clip to build up a song. We're just going to do this uh, as best as we can live. So let's start with an empty project. And the first thing I want to do is going to be just load in a kit that we can work with. I'm not going to do anything super fancy. Um... Let's see, Deep House. I don't know, maybe. All right, kind of like the bassy kick there. There we go. Although, it's got a loop there. All right, let's just record something. So I'm just recording this out as a track. It's going to have the MIDI data like we normally would. And the reason I'm doing this is just so I have can build up some sort of a track to play to. I'm just going to do the kick and the snare. I'm just doing a quick look to make sure everything looks lined up well enough. And what I now want to do is I'm going to go menu. I'm hold that, holding menu down. I'm going to hit pad 10 to go into the looper. I want a two bar loop to record, so that's right. And I wanna to go to resample, so that we're gonna resample the left and right. So that's gonna take whatever's going out through one and two, and it will sample it into the looper. So if I go, I wanna do play, record record to, and then it's gonna play. I don't wanna do overdub for this because it will just start doubling up audio, which is not what I want. We will hit play, and you can see it's just recording out the kick in the clap there and now it's doubling up the audio because it's playing the track and the loop at the same time but just to show you if we go back to main if we go mute it goes back to a normal volume so nothing like wrong there now if we were overdubbing it would just keep stacking and this would get super loud it's not what we want i'm not gonna go export i'm just gonna do drum zero one We'll keep it. I'm not going to assign it to any program or anything quite yet. Now, from here, if we want to keep adding to it and being additive, we can. I can do record to overdub, for example. If I do pl uh, plus on here, it's going to go into overdub. So anything that I start playing now will immediately start going over. Oh, forgot. That's not going to work because I've got mute. <laughs> so let's stop. I'm just going to stop it. Let's go main. And what we want now want to do is instead of being on mute, what we want to do is erase and we will erase all of the events and with this. Now the mute off, we now have something we can play to. So again, we'll go back to if we hit play. Nothing's playing. We're going to hit menu, hold menu down, hit pad 10 to go back to the looper. So if I play, if I hit play, it'll now, when it comes back around, start playing again. And if I go overdub, now I can play against it. And that's not quantized. It's going to have whatever swing or style that I play in. If I'm off, it will be there. And there's no way to undo it. You other than just re-record content in. So I, this isn't quite the process I would normally do, but I'm just trying to show you in a five minute video how to do this. But we go export, we can then, we're gonna make a this drum two. We'll just have two so far, let's keep that. Now we're gonna leave it in play. I don't want overdub on I'm just going to, I'm just thinking of what else I can add in here. And you can hear it's a little bit off, but I'm not going to terribly worry about it. So we got like a little variation there, make this drum three. So that gets us a third one. We're going to say keep. So maybe we'll just. So 
So we can, maybe we'll add a crash in here for one more sound. So I guess that's one additional one. We will export this as drum four. So keep, we're good. We're gonna stop. I'm gonna clear this out. So just to clear out your looper, just hit clear. And now what we can do, I'm just gonna go to track five and I'm gonna create a clip version here. We're gonna say edit clip. And if you see as you hit pads up here, it just tells you what pad you're on. I'm just gonna assign the, we got all the loops here at the end. So we're just gonna slide over. I'm doing drum one, drum two, drum three. We'll just assign them out in order and drum four. So now if I hit that, hit this, it's gonna keep playing. And I can then switch, if I go to program, you can see right now launch quantize one bar. Um, oops, I stopped it. Anyway, we can kind of keep building through. And it will, in whatever quantize setting you have, it will come in and play. So, man, that sounds a little harsh because we're not carrying over uh, the hats and stuff. So it is a problem when you're working with loops if you're not cognizant of where you're ending and starting different sounds. But, you know, we can kind of build our way up and move around, which is mostly what I was just looking to do. So... The worst offender here is probably the last one because of that crash at the end. It just <laughs> it doesn't carry over that ring. But you'll kind of learn what you can move in and out of as you do it. Anyway, I think that's it for today. I just wanted to show you guys how to take some loops real quick, play something live through the looper with overdub, and kind of just build up at least some drums. Or this will approach will work for other content as well so anyway guys keep making music remember if it sounds good it is good and peace